everyone. I hope that you are happy and safe at home and everything's okay. It's story time now. And my story today for you is Little Bear's Special Wish. There we go now. Make sure you're all sitting comfortably, somewhere nice and cosy and warm, and that you're sitting and listening. Little Bear's Special Wish. Oh, just tell you who wrote it first before I start. So the author of this lovely story is Gillian Lobel. Now remember, the author is the person that writes the story. So the, the lady that wrote this story is called Gillian Lobel. And the illustrator, the person that drew all the wonderful pictures, is called Gabby Hansen. Okay. So I'm going to open it very, very carefully. Turning the pages gently, and here we are. It says Little Bear's Special Wish, and here's Little Bear. And here is Little Bear. Got a nice, cuddly little bear to help us read our story. Here he is. The sun was still in bed when Little Brown Bear crept out into the shadowy woods. I wish, I wish. He whispered. You're up early. Little brown bear called Lippity Rabbit. What are you wishing for? It's Mummy's birthday, said Little Brown Bear. And I wish I could find the most special present in all the world for her. I'll help you, said Lippity Rabbit. So off they went along the winding path. Little pools of moonlight danced around their feet. In the middle of the woods, there was a big rock. Little brown bear sat down for a moment to think. High above him glittered a star so big and bright he could almost touch it. I know, I could give my mummy a star, he said. That would be a very special present. Little brown bear gave a little jump. But he could not reach the star. He gave a very big jump. But still he could not reach the star. And Little Brown Bear had an idea. I know, he said, if we climb to the very top of the hill, then we will be able to reach the stars. From the top of the hill, the stars looked even brighter and much nearer too. Little Brown Bear stretched up onto his tiptoes. There he goes, he's stretching up. But the stars were still too far away. Then Little Brown Bear had a very good idea indeed. I know, he said, we must build a big tower to the stars. I'll help you, said Liberty Rabbit. Together, they piled the biggest stones they could find, one on top of the other. Then they stepped back and looked, a stone stairway stretched to the stars. Now I shall reach a star for my mummy, said Little Brown Bear happily. He climbed right to the top and stretched out a paw. Here he goes, standing on one leg, stretching up. Oh. But still, he couldn't reach the stars. I know, cried Lippity Rabbit. 
If I climb on your shoulders, then I can knock a star with my long, loppy ears. Liberty Rabbit scrambled on to Little Bear's shoulders. <gasps> he stretched up, up his long ears and waggled them furiously. Be careful, called Little Brown Bear. You're making me wobble. Suddenly, Little Brown Bear felt something tapping his foot. Can I help you? croaked a voice. Who is it? Why, yes, very small frog, said Little Brown Bear. Are you any good at jumping? Very small frog puffed out his chest. Just watch me, he said. High into the air he flew and landed right between Lippity's floppy ears. Here we go. <gasps> Get ready, he's coming. It's coming up. Here he comes. Whoosh! Can you reach the brightest star from there? asked Little Brown Bear. No problem, shouted Very Small Frog. He took a mighty breath. Look out, stars, here I come. Very Small Frog gave a great push on his strong back legs. Up, 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 up he sailed. Lippity Rabbit's long loppy ears twirled round and round. Oh, help, he shouted, somebody save me. Backwards and forwards he swayed and backwards and forwards swayed Little Brown Bear. With a mighty crash, the stone tower toppled onto the ground and down, down, down tumbled Little Brown Bear and Lippity Rabbit. Oh no. Down, 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 crash. I can't breathe, Lippity, gasped Little Brown Bear. You're sitting on my nose. Uh oh. The very small frog sailed down from the stars. And landed on Lippity Rabbit's head. I'm sorry, little brown bear, he said. I jumped right over the moon, but I still couldn't reach the stars. Little brown bear sat up carefully. His nose was scratched and his head hurt. Now my special wish will never come true, he said. I shall never find a star for my mummy. Don't be sad, said L Lippity Rabbit. We'll help you. And he gave him a big hug. tear ran down Little Brown Bear's nose and splashed into a tiny pool at his feet. As he rubbed his eyes, Little Brown Bear saw something that danced and sparkled in the shining water. Surely it was his star. Little Brown Bear jumped up with excitement. Now I know what to do, he cried. star. 
off he ran down the hillside. Wait for us! Lippity Rabbit and Very Small Frog. Oh, the pages are a bit stuck, but I need to be very careful. Here we go. Through the ferny woods they ran over silver meadows until they reached the stream. For a long time, they hunted along the sandy shore until Little Brown Bear found just what he was looking for. Then carefully, carefully, he carried it all the way home. So there they are looking. They found something beautiful and sparkly in the water there. I wonder what it is. Happy birthday, Mummy, he cried. Into his mother's lap, he placed a pearly shell that shone like a rainbow. There, in the heart of the shell, a tiny pool of water quivered. And in that pool, a very special star shimmered and shook. The star that had made a little bear's birthday wish come true. Lippity Rabbit! And very small frog helped me find the shell, but I caught the star all by myself, said Little Brown Bear proudly. Mother Bear knelt down and gave him a big hug. Thank you all very much, she said. This is a very special birthday present indeed. Little brown bear got his wish for his mummy and found her a beautiful star and he had his friends to help him. It's very important that we all help each other and look after each other whilst we're not at school and make sure that we're all okay. Now, little brown bear and his friends, Lippity Rabbit and Little Frog, have got some things that they'd like to try you to do. Here's challenge number one. Little brown bear, challenge number one. Can you jump high and reach the sky like little brown bear? How many jumps can you do as high as the sky? Next challenge, challenge number two. Little Brown Bear wonders if you can stand on tiptoes like he did in the story and stretch your arm, one arm first, as high, as high as you can, reach up on tiptoes and then with the other arm, stretch up tall. See how far you can stretch up. Liberty Rabbit would like you to try and do some Bunny hops, just like he did in the story. See if you can bunny jump along the ground and see how far you can go. And here is very little frog. And although he was very little, he did some super high jumps. And he would like you to have a go. Can you do some frog jumps? Some frog hops like little frog. There, just a few physical activities to get you exercising after you've sat very quietly and still and listened to the story. I hope that you've enjoyed listening to the story with our story friends. Little Brown Bear's going to say goodbye now. Bye bye everyone. Take care. Here's Lippity Rabbit. Bye bye reception children and their families. Stay safe. And here's very little frog. Bye bye children. Keep doing your home learning. See you soon. Bye everyone. See you soon. Take care.
Bye!